Ah, the inevitable. You were writing code. Everything seemed so smooth. And then, bam, the dreaded error appears. Welcome to the wonderful world of debugging, where even the simplest typo can turn into a full-on mystery thriller. First things first, my friend. Embrace the error. It's not your enemy. It's, well, it is your enemy, but you need to make peace with it. Look at that error message. Read it. Love it. Google it. The first step is understanding that an error is just the computer's awkward way of saying, I need help. But of course, that leads us to... Ah, yes, the Google dance. You'll read through countless posts, some from 2012, some from 2022, and 90% of them won't work. It's like dating. Just because it works for someone else doesn't mean it's going to work for you. But don't give up. You just have to find your perfect solution match. When Google fails you, it's time for the tried and tested method. Rubber duck debugging. Grab any inanimate object and explain your code to it as if you're on a mission to convert it to a programming genius. Oh wait, that's it! There it is, the magic of talking it out to your trusty duck buddy. Who knew solving bugs could be... so quacky? Now for the print statement party. This is where you flood your code with console.log, thoughts or whatever your language of choice demands. It's like sprinkling breadcrumbs, hoping you can trace your way back out of the forest of errors. Ah yes, the beauty of a thousand logs, you're basically a detective, in a world where everything is suspect. There are a lot of steps you can follow to finally debug you errors. Comment and conquer, comment and conquer. There is always a victory moment. The code runs, the bus is slain. You are a hero again. Ah, but don't get too comfortable, my friend. Debugging is a never-ending adventure. And just when you think you've won the war, another battle begins. Thanks for watching. You can try your hand at creating your own animations for free today at crykey.ai. Want to learn more? Then don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.